Hi, um, today I'll show you how to deploy uh, Teradici Cloud Access software from the marketplace. So Cloud Access software on the marketplace is really useful for a POC type deployment, or if you have a few users and you want to get them up running uh, right away. Um, before we start, uh, generally we would like to check and make sure we have uh, the right quota for the uh, G3 instance sites we'll be deploying. So what I'll do here is I'll search for quota and in the services quota tab for Amazon EC2, I need to search for G3. And as you can see here, the default quota for the G3 instance type is zero. But for us, we have four uh, quota limit up for the G3S instance types and two for every other standard G3 instance type. So I know that now I have enough quota to be able to deploy. So going back to services here, I need to go to EC2. And in under instances, I can hit launch. And here I would go to the Amazon Marketplace, AWS Marketplace tab and search for Teradici. Um, so the one I would we'll be launching today would be Teradici Cloud Access Software for uh, Server 2016. Um, we also offer uh, a version for, of Cloud Access Software for CentOS 7. It should be the same, if not identical, um, to what we'll be doing for Server 2016. So I'm hit select here. And here we list out the cost for running Cloud Access Software. Uh, the 50 cents is our cost per hour, and this is the EC2 cost per hour. And here, instead of, as you can see, we blank out the instance types that we do not support. So to find it quickly, we, you can scroll all the way down or go to GPU instance types. Um, and today we'll be deploying on the G3X, G3S XLarge. Uh, so next step in under configuration uh, instance details, um, I will need to pick the VPC. So this is my VPC and I will need to pick my, I'll pick my public subnet, which has the public IP address, assign, auto assign public IP address enabled. Um, and the next step, I can go add storage. And this is the default storage that we use. You may want to change this to 50 gigabytes if you need more space. Uh, for tags here, I, will, I need to add the name so that the name shows up properly. Uh, and in the security group out of the box, we configure these security groups. Um, you may add more rules or change uh, who is permitted to connect. And that's it. It uh, will give you the final check through and it'll give you a little bit of a couple of warnings about um, that your instance is open to the world. Of course, you can go back and change um, the security type, right? So here I hit launch, choose an existing key pair, and I can go down. This is my key pair that I've already created ahead of time. I just hit acknowledge and I hit launch instance. Yeah, so if you go back to view instance here, you can see that this instance is now pending. And now we wait. So it's been some time. And as you can see here, uh, the virtual machine is, is uh, deployed. So the way you can tell that it is ready is when you go into actions and get Windows password, it will pop up this prompt where I can upload my uh, private key pair. Um, if it is not ready, it will give you a warning and says, hey, you need to wait a little bit longer before that is ready. So what I need to do is I need to go into my documents. This is the correct key pair. I need to hit decrypt. And there you go. It gives me the uh, username and the password. So what I need to do is I need to copy this to notepad and I can hit close. I already have the Teradigi client installed here. Uh, but if you need to install the client, uh, you can go to help teradici.com and under cloud access plus if you click view products cloud access software we have software client for windows mac os and linux uh, that you can download right here so opening up the client here i can hit create a new connection i can copy the ip address here paste it into it and for, since I'm connecting for the first time, it will pop up a warning because I have a self-signed certificate on the virtual machine itself. I need to click Connect and Securely. That username is administrator. 
and then the password is what I've copied off of uh, the decryption that log page. And I hit login. Yeah, and first time connection might take a little bit of time as it needs to negotiate um, the connection and Windows uh, might need to spin up uh, some services in the background or some drivers in the background. But as you can see here, Windows is already loading and it's ready to go. So what I can do here is I can maximize the screen and you can see that the client will dynamically adjust. I can even go into full screen here and it will be adjusted completely. So if we go into direct, direct diagnostics, as you can see here, I have four, CP, four cores and 32 gigs of RAM. And then this, and then the GPU attaches a Tesla M60. Cool. So now that if you're done with the uh, virtual machine, um, if you want to stop Amazon from charging you for the compute time, uh, what you can do is you can go into start menu and hit shut down and just continue. You can shut down this way and then you see we I'm kicked back into the login page here. Or you can go into actions, instance state, stop. Um, and both ways will power off the virtual machine. Now, that will only stop the compute uh, cost from being charged and as well as the cloud access per hourly charge. Uh, you still be charged for the storage that you're currently using. So the way to stop that, to stop from, to stop all cost, uh, would be to go to instance days and hit terminate. Uh, and you have to hit uh, yes, terminate, and that would delete the entire instance. Uh, and you have to make sure that the root EBS volume is also deleted as well. Uh, for a longer or a bigger POC, or if you want to take a look at our broken capabilities, uh, I would recommend reaching out to our sales team um, and they'll be able to assist you that way.